What's up, party people? It's Dan, your basement guitar superstar. Today we're going to talk about this guy right here. This is the Chapman Guitars ML1 Hybrid in this beautiful sarsen stone black finish. These are mahogany bodies with a maple veneer top. Very gorgeous, if you could see that. It kind of reminds me, like, if you're watching a horror movie and they show a scene where you're looking out a window and there's the moon there with, like, kind of the spooky-looking clouds going around it. This finish kind of reminds me of that, and I like it. It's It says Sarsen Stone Black. Honestly, it looks a little bit more navy, and I like that. But here's the other specs. It's got a bolt-on neck there and a wiggle stick, obviously, which I don't really use. This one's a little bit different, though. So on this tremolo system, there's actually a little uh, Allen wrench thing here where you can tighten this down using an Allen key. So that way you don't have to screw it in. You don't have to rely on just the friction of the guitar. I really like that, even though I don't use this, but I could see that being very, very helpful for other guitarists. That way during a gig, you don't have to worry about that falling off. A volume and tone knob, five-way selector switch here. We got in the neck and middle position, we have Chapman Venus Witch single coil pickups. I just love the names that Rob comes up for all this stuff. It's pretty awesome. And then a Chapman Sonorous Zero Humbucker in the bridge position there. Other thing about this guitar, you have a roasted maple neck and fretboard. And I'll give you my opinion on that at the end of the video. Chapman 18 to 1 ratio tuners here. Uh, now, I am going to be up front with you. When I first got this guitar, it it was not, like, it did not stay in tune at all. Um, but, however, once I did a, I did a restring and graphite of the nut, it's been great ever since. Like, for instance, this morning when I went to tune this thing, it was pretty much in tune except for the E I needed to tweak just a little. It was a little flat, but I haven't played this guitar in like two weeks and it stayed in tune and it's in my basement. So if that tells you anything about once you get the initial tuning stability figured out, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. The fretboard on this is smooth. That's one thing I think, one of the many things Chapman does a great job at. There is not a sharp fret on this thing. And the neck is, is uh, probably in the middle. Not too thick, not too thin. I like it. But anyway, we're going to plug this in. For amps, we're using my Trainer YCV40 tube amp. And then for drive, we're going to be using the Zoso preamp overdrive from my buddy Danny Kreider over at Noise Pollution Effects. Give you an idea how this sounds with... You know, more natural amp tones. That's kind of modeled after the old high watt, 100 watt amps that Jimmy Page used to use live. And yeah, we'll go through a deep dive of this, show you how it sounds clean and with drive. Give me a second to get this plugged in, then I will bring you guys back and show you how All it right, sounds. All right, party people, we're back. we got the Chapman ML1 Hybrid plugged in, tuned up, hooked up to the Trainer YCV40. And we are going to be giving you some tones with this thing. I'm playing an E standard tuning. Stay Metal Ray actually does a really wonderful preview of the same guitar, and he plays in drop D. Just to give you an idea of what this sounds like with drop tunings, because these do really well with drop tunings traditionally. I'm going to post a link to his video in the description so you can go watch that and kind of get an idea of versatility of this guitar. Uh, keep in mind, as always, that the Siren Pedals Anvil is going to be plugged in in the background for some compression so that the guitar doesn't sound like a giant wall of gobbledygook on your end after I edit. So let's do this. Let's give you some clean tones. We're going to plug this in. Turn the volume up here. Give you some clean tones, or as Snoop Dogg likes to say, clizzle tone nizzle. Now let's engage the uh, overdrive. We are on just the neck pickup by itself. Let me 
turn the amp up just a skosh here. These guys right here, both the single coils. All right, let's do this. The tone knob is dimed here. We're going to do the middle setting which is uh, just the middle pickup here. to the setting right here, neck and bridge, so we get a little bit of that humbucker in there now. setting five which is just a bridge pickup not a push-pull pot so this cannot be a single coil keep that in mind too like uh, the other two Chapman <laughs> all right we're gonna turn the bass up on the pedal here and then turn the drive up a little bit too Guys, that should give you an idea of this guitar. I know this is a pretty short preview, but it's a, a pretty simple instrument. I will bring you back after I get all this unplugged and give you my final thoughts. And then I think at some point we'll do another video with a little bit heavier distortion to kind of show you what it sounds like with that as well. But anyway, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, party people, we're back. Surprise, surprise. I'm actually going to tack this onto the end of the video. I wanted to show you how this guitar sounds with heavier gain. 
So we're, I've just plugged in the noise pollution grunge, bo grunge box slash razor blade, which is my signature pedal from them. It is modeled after a, a big sonic x Mendora like Gavin Rossdale used to record 16 Stone originally, if you guys remember that record. But we're going to show you what this sounds like with heavier gain here. That should give you guys an idea of what this sounds like with heavier distortion. Give me a second to get unplugged and I will bring you guys back. Give my final thoughts. Alright party people, we're back. That was the Chapman ML1 Hybrid and this beautiful Sarsen Stone Black finish. Hopefully that give you guys a pretty good idea of what this sounds like. I really like this guitar a lot. I, I'm not sure I like it as much as my ML3 Hybrid or my ML2J, but I like it. It's going to stay in my collection. Um, but yeah, it plays really smooth. I've never had a roasted maple neck and fretboard before. And I really love the feel of those. They feel nice and soft and light. And uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't really use the wiggle stick much. Pretty simple guitar. Easy to play. Stays in tune pretty well. And I think it sounds good on higher gain settings too, as well as lighter gain. The Venus Switch pickups are definitely, they're a little bit more trebly than I was expecting when I first got this guitar. I'm not sure about you guys. I know the Sonorous Zero sound really good because that's what's in my uh, ML3 Modern Abyss over there. But yeah, I like this guitar. If I had to give this a rating, I'd probably say 8 out of 10 pretty easily. Um, these are really great. I, last I checked, Andertons was still having a fire sale on these, quote unquote. I think they're, I want to say they were 399 pounds, which in English is like 540 bucks. If you try and buy them here, they're 650, 7, 800. I think that's well worth the price. 
uh, personally. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one. Did you like it? Did you not like it? You know, what do you think of Chapman guitars in general? All that. Did you like it with heavier gain versus lighter gain? Or would you prefer the lighter gain setting? Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll post links where you can find out everything you need to know about Chapman guitars in this particular model. Be on the lookout for their 2022 models because I have a feeling those are going to the information about those is going to drop very very soon as always thank you so much for watching and have fun playing